friend, welcome back to Caspian RV in another class. How are you feeling today? Today we're going to have a short revision in exam to check how far we've come on our English language learning journey. But you know, my friend, it's an endless journey. Yeah, I can't remember how many exams I've taken. So many. I even can't remember, you know, so don't worry, my friend, it's going to be fun and it's a great opportunity to check our progress. OK, the exam start now. <laughs> so if you're ready, let's get started with the revision part. OK, let's start with have got and has got. Remember, my friend, have got, has got. We talked about it before. Yes. So here, very important thing. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Remember? So I, you, we, they. We said what? Have got. OK, so you have got, let me say, or I have got a pencil. She, I mean, we have got a pencil. But we said with he, she, it, we use what? Has got. So she has got a pencil eraser. OK, she, he, she, it has got. All right. And we said how is it for the negative? Haven't got and hasn't got. OK, let me write one question also. So I'm starting with what? Have you? Have you got a red car have you got a red car has she got a red car okay so this was about have got and has got now let's continue with can do you remember can we use can when we talk about our abilities our skills the things that we can do right for example i can cook well i can speak english i can speak russian i can speak french i can dance i can sing a song so okay these are for example my abilities we use can when we talk about our abilities so how to build i can sing a song okay for negative i can sing a song but I can't, it means I cannot, I can't cook or I can't dance. OK, so I can sing a song, but I can't dance. Can you dance? And this is the question. All right. So this is about can. And now let's continue with let me clean my board. Let me like very quickly show you continuous tense. Let me ask you first, my friend, I mean, how can we talk about things happening now at the moment? Yeah, good. I am. OK, I am filming. This video now. Remember. I am filming. I am teaching now. OK, so here the important thing. M is R and what? ING. All right. We never forget this. I am filming. I am teaching. You are, for example, you are not uh, sleeping now. You are watching me. You are listening to me. OK, here it changes. And this is for continuous tense. For future tense, let's change this to future tense. I said now I am filming the video. OK, now I am teaching, but Teaching also my, you know, every day I teach actually, right? Every day. This is general, something general for me. So let me write this one. I teach every day. I teach every day. I see my students every day. What tense is this, my friend? Simple present tense. You don't you don't have to know the tense's name, by the way. I just asked. OK, you need to know how to use them. For example, when you talk about general things, you need to use this. I teach, I go, I cook. OK, 
I wake up, I brush my teeth every day, I go to work every day, I go to the school by bus every day, okay? There, we don't have anything. But remember, he, she, it, what I add? He, she, it, I add S, cool. So she, let me write, she has her breakfast at nine. Okay, and this was about present tense. And now, how about past? How can I change these two sentences into past? Like, in the past. I teach every day, I see my students every day. How can I change this? The first one, I teach every day. I am teaching now, continuous, and I taught yesterday. Okay, in the past. Today, no. Then I said how? I here, this is irregular, so I need to write in this way. I taught yesterday and finished, okay? And I said, I saw, not I see, I saw, again, irregular. I saw my student yesterday. My student, our student's fine. I saw my students yesterday, okay? And remember, did, I didn't see my students did you see your students yesterday? Okay, negative and question form. Past tense was this. And then what we had? Past and future. Okay, let me show you one example for future as well. It's very simple. With what? Will. I will. I will travel tomorrow. I will visit my parents tomorrow or next week let's write next week for this okay i won't visit my parents tomorrow i will visit them next week okay cool well done very good all right my friend we've done with the revision part now it's time to take an exam all right so i prepared some english questions for you super carefully now my friend it's okay to make some mistakes. This is how we grow and learn. Don't worry, but try to take the exam carefully. I believe in each and every one of you. So let's begin the exam. So my friend, complete the text by filling in the blanks with the correct tenses of the verbs given in parentheses. Dear Miss Jane, how are you all? I, blah, blah, write to say a big thank you for letting me stay at your hotel while I in Italy last month. What do you think? Okay, I am writing to say a big thank you and I was in Italy last month. I really enjoyed living there. Life is going well at the moment. Do you remember I wanted to move out from my parents' place? Well, last week, I, an old friend of mine, he, an apartment. What do you think? Yes. I met an old friend of mine, he has an apartment, he has got an apartment. Let's continue. He was looking for a flatmate and I to move in with him. What's your answer? I decided to move in with him. Now we're living together in his apartment and we, a housewarming party last night. We had great food. My friend, well. We had, aha, uh -huh. my friend can cook well. Let's continue. It's eight o'clock on a brilliant sunny day. I'm on the balcony looking at the sea. 
John, my flatmate, until about midday. So I have the flat to myself most mornings. Don't get up, doesn't get up, doesn't get up, don't get up. What do you think? And then, I a real job nowadays, but it's getting harder and harder to find a full-time job. So I need to start looking for it seriously. What do you think? I am looking a real job nowadays. Uh-huh. And then, I'm sending you copies of some photos I took during my stay. I'm sure you them as much as I do. I'll see you later. Thank you. I'm sure you will like. Yes, exactly. So my friend, this was the first part. How was it? Okay, cool. Now let's continue with the second part. Here it said, write questions for the underlined parts in the sentences. The first one, William Shakespeare wrote 42 books in his lifetime. What's your answer? Exactly, it's C. How many books did Shakespeare write in his lifetime? Okay, let's continue. The answer is yes, he does. What kind of question we can ask? A. Did my brother love his teacher? Did my brother love his teacher? Does my brother love his teacher? Do my brother love his teacher? What do you think? Yes, the answer is, does my brother love his teacher? Okay, my friends, so we finished the grammar part. Well done, how was it? I mean, did you find it easy or was it hard for you? Cool. Now let's continue with the vocabulary part, my friend. Question number one. What is the meaning of the word delicious? Bitter, tasty, sour, spicy. Tasty, well done. Which word is the opposite of fast? Slow, quick, rapid, speedy. Uh -huh. Number three, what do you call a place where you can borrow books? Supermarket, library, restaurant, hotel. A hospital, sorry. Library. Well done. Which word means a sweet red fruit? Banana, orange, apple, tomato. What's your answer? Apple. Cool. What does the word call describe? A feeling of happiness, the color of the sky, a low temperature, a loud sound. A low temperature. Cool. What number is represented by the digits? What do you think? It's D, 1856. All right, my friend, we finished with the vocabulary part as well. Now it's time to listen. Now I'll read the text, listen to me super carefully, and try to take notes. Later, you'll answer five different questions about the listening. If you're ready, let's get started. Listen to me and take notes. Last summer, my family and I went on a wonderful adventure trip. We decided to explore the mountains and forests in a faraway place. We woke up early in the morning and packed our bags with some snacks, water, and important things we needed. Then we started our trip. We saw colorful and playful birds, which made us smile. 
When we arrived at the starting point of our adventure, we met our friendly guide, Maria. She was very kind and knew a lot about the place. We followed her through the forest trails and it felt like being in a fairy tale. Our first adventure was rock climbing. At first, it was a little scary, but Maria showed us how to do it safely. Slowly and steadily, we climbed the rocks and it felt like we were reaching the sky. The view from up there was amazing. Next, we did a great activity called zip lining. It was like being a bird for a moment and we laughed and screamed with joy. After all the excitement, we took a break and had a delicious picnic by a sparkling river. We ate sandwiches, fruits, and some yummy local treats. Later in the day, we went walking to see a beautiful waterfall. We took many pictures to capture the magical moment. Some of us even splashed around in the small pool below the waterfall. As the sun started to set, we made our way back to the starting point. We were tired but happy. We thanked Maria for showing us such a wonderful time and creating unforgettable memories. Now, question number one. Where did the family go for their adventure trip? To the beach, to the mountains and forests, to a city park, to a zoo. It's B. Well done. Question number two. How did the family feel during the rock climbing activity? Scared, sad, excited, bored. Excited. Good job. What did the family eat during their picnic? Ice cream and cake, pizza and burgers, sandwiches and fruits, noodles and rice. What do you think? Sandwiches and fruits. Cool. Very good. Question number four. What activity made the family feel like they were flying? Yes, what's your answer? Zip lining. Zip lining. Cool. Number five. What did the family do at the waterfall? A, B, C, D. What do you think? Take pictures and splash in the water. Very good. All right, my friend, we've done with the listening part. Now let's continue with the last section, which is speaking. Question number one. Tell me about your favorite book or movie. What is it about and why do you like it? Take your time, my friend. Question number two. Can you describe your dream house? Question number three. Can you describe your family? All right, my friend, we finished our exam. How was it? Was it hard, easy? Did you enjoy the exam? Yeah, so, and how many correct answers did you get, my friend? Please, please mention in the comments so that I can see. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll answer your questions as well, okay? So actually, my friend, this was our lesson 10. So it means that this is our last lesson for A1 pack. Okay, so we are finishing our beginner pack today, but don't worry, next Sunday I'll be sharing new videos, so wait for the next Sunday, my friend. Thank you so much for watching me. Stay awesome, stay connected. See you soon.